What's the difference between a violin and a viol? Today I'm going to take you through every single difference between the two instruments, and at the very end of the video I'll tell you which one I think is harder to play. The first major difference has got to be the length. Violins are usually about 14 inches and violas are about 16 inches, although violas have a wide variety of sizes they can come in. Usually they are between 15 and a half inches and 17 inches with a few outliers. The two instruments also have different shapes. Violins are usually narrower and violas are wider, usually thicker as well. The two bows are about the same lengths, but viola bows are thicker and heavier with a wider breadth of hair. Violins are made to be smaller than violas to account for their higher string pitches, which are E, A, D, and G. Violas have strings A, D, G, and C, and they're made thicker to account for their lower pitches. Since viola strings are lower and thicker and they take longer to resonate, you have to be more careful to use arm weight instead of arm pressure. For example, if I play this chord in third position on the violin using a lot of arm force, here's how it sounds. If I play a chord in the same place on the viola using a lot of arm force, here's how it sounds. Like it's okay, but you hear a lot of crunch and scratch. When you play viola, you shouldn't be pressing into this string, you should just be using your arm weight. Sounds a lot better. By now you've probably noticed the pattern that basically everything on viola is a lot bigger. That includes the fingerboard, which means that violas have to stretch their fingers a lot more. When I'm playing tense on the violin, this is how much my hand has to stretch. On the viola, tenths are an entirely different challenge. Violin fingerboards are also more narrow than viola fingerboards. This makes it easier to play fifths on the violin, but it can also cause some difficulties with the open E string when you're playing chords. Moving on down the instrument, of course the bridges are different sizes and this causes different contact points. Viola contact points tend to be farther out than violin contact points because that's where the string resonates better. Unless you're playing a solo with an orchestra, in which case you might want to try and get a more piercing sound by playing closer to the bridge. This also gives violas more range of ponticello effects they can do, since they have more variety of space near the bridge. Beneath that, we have the tailpiece and the chin rest. The only difference here is the size, they work in the same way. The last physical difference we have is the weight. Violins are basically a lot lighter than violas, so it's more tiring to hold up a viola. That basically covers all the physical differences between the two instruments, but of course there's still some important qualitative ones. Violas choose to sacrifice so much playability and struggle a lot more, because viola gives them a bigger, deeper, darker, richer tone. Every string sounds so much different between the two instruments, even if they're the same pitches. Violin strings tend to be a lot more compact, and viola strings are broader, especially with the lowest strings. The C string on the viola sounds rustic and earthy, while the violin can have a uniquely angry quality to it. Harmonics are actually a lot easier on viola than violin because you have a lot more margin for error and they just ring longer and louder. As far as pizzicato, it's a little bit easier to be clear on the violin but you get a bigger sound on viola. Sometimes violas use their thumbs to do pizzicato because it gives the viola a rounder sound. As far as vibrato, violas have to oscillate twice as wide as violinists in order to get the same sound, although violas tend to use vibrato more sparingly. But the biggest difference for me is the character. When I hear the voice of the violin, I feel like it's telling a story, either about the composer, the performer, or something else entirely. But because of the viola's imperfections and introverted sound, I've always felt like it expresses the truthful, raw emotions a composer felt when writing a piece. If you think of all the major violin concertos, such as Tchaikovsky, Sibelius, or Korngold, they're written at the upstart or peak of a composer's career, and they're trying to impress or please society. On the other hand, if you think of the most significant viola works, like Bartok Viola Concerto, Hindemith der Schwanendreher, and Bloch's Suite Hebraic, they're often written later in the composer's careers and end up being far more personal, as if they're writing for the sakes of their own expression. For me, understanding and bringing out that character is the most important difference between playing the violin and playing the viola. So now for the big question. Which one is harder to play? Looking at the technical differences, viola is so much harder to play than the violin. Between the left and right hand playability issues, every note you play on the viola takes about twice as much work for it to sound good compared to if you played it on the violin. To be fair, violinists have a lot more notes in orchestral and chamber works, but that's separate from just the technical differences. If you're trying to choose which instrument to play, my advice is actually to not worry about the difficulty at all. Choose the instrument you connect with the best. I played violin for 12 years and I liked it but I love playing the viola because I feel like it's my voice. I hope you learned something from this video, and if you did, please hit the like button down below, tap subscribe to join the viola kingdom. Till next time, viola king out.